The superpower that every citizen has is the ability to control where they spend their time, money, and attention. By focusing these on supporting local businesses, you are having a profound impact on your friends, your family, and your local community. So if you want to change the world, you can start with buying local. Welcome everyone to Buying Local Saratoga. I'm your host, Mike Nelson, actually uh, recording on location today. I am here with Brandy Tyler, Unbroken Athletics, Club Midnight CrossFit. Yes. So, and help me understand, because I know there's, you have a couple, you have kind of like two two brands going on with, with the gym, right? So yes. you have Unbroken Athletics and then you have Club Midnight CrossFit. And what what's the significance with the two? So when I first started, I didn't think I was going to be affiliated and then I got going and, well... Let me back up a minute. So I ended up going with the name Unbroken Athletics. And then once I got going, I was starting to get a little more excited and felt that um, being affiliated was um, something I wanted to do. So then I had to backtrack and pick out uh, an affiliate name. So that's where Club Midnight CrossFit came in. Very cool. So you are a CrossFit affiliate. I am. And why, why CrossFit? Um, I can go back a few years when I first started um, working out. I really loved it. And then I had a friend um, mentioned CrossFit, ended up going to another gym for CrossFit. And I just loved everything about it. It was everything challenging, the people, the community, the coaches, um, just everything about it. It wasn't just working out. There was more to it. So doing that in a couple of years, I ended up um, during COVID going to the gym at, in my garage <laughs> <laughs> and doing that for a couple of years and then still loving it. I ended up getting my L1 and my L2. Um, I just, just everything about it. There's not one specific thing that I like about CrossFit. Yeah. And your, and your L1 and L2, those are specific certifications? Yes. Um, we do take seminars for the L1 and the L2. Um, uh, there's, a certain couple of year, there's a couple of years in between um, where I've uh, spaced it out, the L1, and then probably a good two, three years later, I ended up getting my L2. Actually, just before I opened uh, Unbroken Athletics, I had gotten my L2. Um, does a little more hands-on, but I'm always for the L1 seminar. It's fundamentals. Yeah. It goes back to the basics, and that's what I really like to coach here. It gets kind of lost when you get into the more competitive side of it. Um, but I like I like both ends of it, but I really like um, enjoy coaching people who, who are just kind of a little hesitant about getting into CrossFit. Um, why do you think that is? Why, why, why do you think people are... Uh, people just get a bad... Um, they hear bad stories. This person get hurt. This person got hurt. And it kind of goes down the line. Um, people just start talking. And I think they just don't have a lot of knowledge. So it's easier for them to say, I'm not going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that makes any sense. But it's kind of like anything else. If you don't really know anything about it, you're just going to say it's not really that great. Or, sure. Um, it's easier to, I guess, dismiss it. Okay. Uh, and what, what do you think, you know, from uh, when, when people are looking at, so you've got like your, you know, your, your regular gym, right? Maybe you pay 20 bucks a month to belong to it, or you've got um, other things like your, you know, like a YMCA or, you know, like what, what is it? Why would someone come to CrossFit rather than do those kinds of things? Well, for one, we are, um, um, we do get our, it's a certification. I'm not exactly certified yet till I get my L3, but we have coaching. We're not um, just sending you to class. We have programming. We work with you. Um, if you're going to, I don't like to say it, but like Planet Fitness or the Y, they do have coaches, um, but there's no programming. Um, and you don't have the community, the people there to help you. Um, it's just all around completely different. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say any specifics. I don't like like bad naming. No, bad no, I know. Find like other gyms, but well, I know. I know for me too. Like I always really like the community in CrossFit as yeah. far as the camaraderie of you know you do a really hard workout and 
Yeah. You know, you're on like today, you know, we had a fist bump in your friends. You fist bump in your friends. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. know, and, uh, we almost died together, you know, right. <laughs> uh, so you get that, um, from a, a, a workout standpoint, you know, I always thought too, that it was just nice to be able to, all I, all I got to do, the hard part is getting myself to the gym. Yes. And then everything else is taken care of, yes. right? Like you're going to yeah. tell me what the warm up is, the workout, the, yeah. you know, and then. Yeah. It's funny you say that I have, um, uh, somebody right now he's my biggest challenge is him he's just time management and trying to get him in here is if I can get him in here at least three times a week I'll be happy mm -hmm. and some people are like well why do you even care I'm like because I you know I it's the nature of me being a coach I care about people and their health and um and plus it's a challenge yeah so um yeah <laughs> yeah. So now, uh, so we met at another CrossFit gym. Yes. Um, what, and it, what do you think originally drew you to CrossFit in general? Cause you've been doing CrossFit for 10 years. Yeah. I thought it would be seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Uh, I think just the whole, um, dynamic of it, there, you're not just doing one thing. You're doing several different things. I can't put one specific thing to that question I, yeah. it's everything it really is everything the community the people um, hitting a PR being able to do a pull up I mean these are things that we don't do all the time and then to go in there and do it or even say that we can't do it and then prove ourselves wrong to go in and do it it's just enough to drag your butt back and yeah. get in there and do it yeah so. <laughs> um, and so where are we where, are we Round Lake we are in Boston Lake um, this part this Geography over it's, here always confuses It's like me. every corner is different. So that corner is Boston Lake. This corner is Round Lake. Um, we were off at exit 11 on the north way. Right off the exit. And the address is listed as Boston Lake. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And uh, and so you've been here? It'll be two years in September. Two years. Yeah. Very nice. So. Yeah. Yeah. First year was a little tough, I think, because of COVID, but it's starting to wind up a little. Yeah, because you opened... Oh, you opened... I was, we were still wearing masks. It was almost towards the end. Where we when you when you opened, it was almost it was we were coming out of twenty twenty. Yeah, that's right. That's so, right. It was. I think it was. They weren't really pushing, enforcing it towards mm -hmm. the end. But people weren't really coming out. Yeah, it was a weird much. time. Yeah, Everybody was so, kind of unsure, didn't know what yeah. was going on. And, it's you so know. funny how far we've come since, but I feel like we're almost back. <laughs> Almost, almost. almost. Um, and so, and you know, tell us a little bit about, I know that you mentioned that you really like working with people that are newer to CrossFit, right? Yeah. What, um, what, what can you tell us about some of our members? Like, you know, who, not their names, but like, who are they? Like, are they the, you know, the stay at home mom or the yeah. working mom or the, you know, I, I do. It's funny. Cause I think the gym that I came from, it was more of a stay home kind of people who had a little more time to to go but right now it's different I, I have more of the community of people who work so most of my class, most of my members are either really early morning or um, late at night uh, I would say a good 85% of my members are very new to CrossFit um, they either didn't like where they were going and some of them probably still do have a membership at other gyms but um, I'm grateful that they are trusting me enough to um, continue to stay here with me. Um, Do a lot of them like, I always wonder about if when it comes to gym, like how much geography plays, like how close you are to the, cause you don't live very far away from here, right? I no, mean, no. I have to assume that's part of the reason why you chose this location. I was lucky to get this location. Yeah. yeah. So it's like four miles from my house, but um, I was lucky enough to have um, the space to uh, to do it very close. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the area around here, these are all working um, people. Um, uh, a lot of it as nurses, um, military. I had a lot of teachers, a um, couple doctors. And then just a couple of people that really just come from another gym and are like, are not happy with where they're at. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they're all pretty much new to CrossFit. I think I have one or two people who may have done um, some other CrossFit classes before. So I like it. 
Yeah. 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 It's, um, and, and those people that like, so they, they all live kind of close by or like, uh, yes. Um, they all pretty much live. Yeah. I think I have one or two people that probably live a good, maybe 15, 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is probably the closest to other, um, CrossFit gyms kind of in between, um, a few other CrossFit gyms. So I'm sure that helps a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, so walk us through like for the people that aren't familiar with CrossFit, right? Uh, you're going to come here, uh, walk us through a workout. You're here for about an hour. Yes. What, what can they expect? Uh, usually if they've never done CrossFit before, I will start them off with either an elements class. Um, I'll take them through some basic movements, um, show them uh, kind of like how the class works, and then I'll see if they want to come back and take um, a free class and just to see how it is in a group setting and then give them the option if they, or not give them the option, then they have the option if they want to sign up or not. Um, most of the time I'll let them sit in a class to see how um, they like it. Um, and then they, they just take it for themselves what they want to do. Um, but once they get here, we all start together. We we'll start the warm up together, a um, few breaks in between. And then we do the workout, which is usually starts with the strength. And then we get into the conditioning. Um, about an hour um, for the whole workout. I guess people time, especially the community that we have, they work, so we make sure that we get our time in and they can get out on time for work. Does that make sense? Because you have those early morning classes. Yeah. What yeah. times are those again? Those are 5.30 to 6.30 and 6.30 to 7.30. It's early. Yeah. It's funny because I, you know, uh, when I first started uh, CrossFit, which I think now was, I don't even know. 15 years ago, yeah. 12 years ago. I mean, it was, wow, I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, but, but I used to do the 6.30 class or the 6 a.m. class. Yeah. And, um, and that was, that was early, yeah. but, uh, yeah, it still sounds kind of early. Yeah. I, I think I prefer the lunchtime or yeah. the afternoon That's workouts my, now. That's my favorite time. Yeah. I've been getting up early lately and I just, I still can't, like, I'll, I'll give those people credit. Just, I mean, I, I'm not even awake and they're throwing barbells over their head. Right, but right. It's just like, it's, it's, uh, I'll give them some credit there. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Fitch, your local State Farm insurance agent, with a mission of helping people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. Whatever your needs may be, State Farm has got you covered, and Bob Fitch is your man. So, um, as far as, so you said, like, throwing barbells. So, tell us about some of the movements, some of the things that, uh, you know, that you see in workouts. You know, like, describe, like, you know, like, today's workout. What was, what was today's workout? Today was brutal. <laughs> we just finished that up. Uh, we had um, a good warm up, and then um, we had some barbell hip thrusters. Uh, we did those from a bench, a couple sets of those. Um, the main uh, workout was um, two rounds, a 10 minute time cap with 30, uh, excuse me, 20 um, power cleans and then 30 toes to bar. So, um, Power cleans, um, it's a lot of hanging onto the bar today, um, but um, going from that and then to the toaster bar. Yeah. Um, it's only 10 minutes, but that 10 minutes can be pretty hectic. To I told you I was shaky afterwards, for sure. <laughs> and my forearms were small. Yeah, my <laughs> arms were kind of, I was trying to drink my water and it was, uh, it was a little shaky. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and for those of you listening, if you don't know what some of those movements are, you know, so uh, there's a good amount of barbell work in CrossFit, you know, so today one of the movements was, um, uh, power cleans yes. where you're pulling the bar with some weight on it from the ground up to shoulder height yep. safely mm -hmm. with correct form so that we're not hurting ourselves, <laughs> which Brandy is yes. Here a pro for. at, yes, to show and coach you through. Uh, and then the toe to bars, which, um, really were knee ups for me, but Brandy obviously did the, the toe to bars. He did quite a bit. That's the gymnastics end of it. Um, so we do a lot of gymnastics stuff too basically hanging from the bar and then trying to get your toes to hit the bar. Um, that just takes some skill, but there's also scaling options like um, Nelson did towards the end. You did, you did mostly toes to bar, but at the end you're just like... No, I did like... You around. are very generous. <laughs> I did like five toe to bars and the rest are knee raises. Oh, it was... Uh, it still counts. Well, and it was funny because, you know, like, I think one of the, the cool things about CrossFit is 
the way that they group those exercises in those workouts yeah. that you don't realize that you did one and it like, yeah. and you go to do the next one. You're like, Oh, that's yeah. actually much harder now than yeah. I've done that other exercise. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. um, and then, and as far as like other movements, like, you know, whether it's kettlebells or barbells yeah. or rowing machines or ski ergs or yeah. those, those all in, intertwine. They're all, it, it's so amazing. I've learned a lot in the last, probably six months like how you know even just from learning from members um how things just connect like you go in you coach it's one thing but to actually like sit and see like the differences in the workout like i had um a member the other day we were trying to do clapping push-ups he's like there's just no way i'll be able to do that i'm like well you do wall climbs your hands are coming off the ground it's the same thing mm -hmm. you're just shifting weight He's like, you know what? You're probably right. I'm going to try that. And he, he ended up doing it. I'm like, but I never, in my L1, I never really thought about that. These are the things I'm starting to see and learn as an L2 coach that these things all come together. And I guess that's a better way for me to coach too and help mm -hmm. you and make people understand that no, it's not an option. Like there is a way and you've already been doing it. We've already been working at it. Um, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so if you're going to tell someone listening, uh, you know, one thing about CrossFit, maybe that you love the most, or uh, I always laugh because when work at, we used to like, you know, like the things that you say with people that you're um, working out with all the time, like, oh, it, it's a good one. Like, yeah. it, that's yeah. not, that's not separate words. That's one word. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, but if you're, if you're going to tell anyone about the workouts, about the benefits, about, you know, just about CrossFit in general, like if you're going to tell them one thing, what would you tell them? Jeez. Yeah. That's a, that's a tough question. I know. That's a very There's so many things. broad question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, geez, I find it mentally, um, but that also builds on because of the workout, because of the community, mm -hmm. because of, it's just a, um, a mental happiness, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I just, there's not one bad thing I can say about, like, no, I, can't, I, know. I can't leave and say, you know what, that freaking, like, that's just so stupid. I'm never like. There's not one bad thing I can say. Um, yeah, I just... I know having done most most of my workouts for the last year at my house in my garage, yeah. uh, kind of similar to like what you're talking about during COVID when you were working out in your garage, like yeah. I definitely miss CrossFit, being able to come in here on a regular basis. Yeah. It's, it's just what a different experience. So. Yeah, it's, it, it's with working with other people too. It's just more motivating, we, which that is it too is... Um, you know, working out at home is great, but then you have that one friend or that one person that you like, like working out with and you both motivate each other or all three of you or all four of you or mm -hmm. all the whole class, just motivating each other, helping each other, um, which is community, but it's also like camaraderie and, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, it's such a broad question. I can't say one specific thing that, um, well, it was a bad question, Brandy. No, uh, no. But... Well, and you know, and to your point too, like, I think that's another thing too, as far as like pushing yourself. Like I know even when I do CrossFit type workouts at home, I, I'm not pacing myself against someone else. I'm yeah. not, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm just kind of doing the workout. And I yeah. know that when you're in here and even if, you know, there's the, the person that's just in incredible shape and you know, you're, you're, they're screaming through the workout, but you're like, all right, well, I, you know, I'm not going to keep up with them, but. I yeah. want to stay close. They are right? motivating, yeah. Yeah. They're motivating you when you don't know that they're motivating you. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's, it's, I've, I've come in, I think one time, I was thinking about this the other day too. I, there's not one bad day I had, except for once I went in and I was just having the worst day ever. And I went into class and I could not shake my head from what was going on. I got in my car, I left, I literally drove a mile and then drove back and went back to class. Because oh, yeah. I knew it was going to make me feel better. So it was, everyone was probably like, what is she doing? But I was like, this is, <laughs> Left, this is not. Left, yeah. yeah. So that just shows me too that it was just, um, I don't know, important to me and mentally and physically better for me that I went back and did that. So, I mean, whether you're having a bad day or a good day, it was just what happened. I don't yep. know why I thought about this the other day, but 
that just came up because we were just talking about it too. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so if people want to find you, they want to find Unbroken Athletics Club Midnight CrossFit. Uh, how do they do that? Uh, we are there's a website, um, Unbroken Athletics uh, New York dot com. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, you can find me on Unbroken Athletics. Um, also, you can find me under CrossFit now too, uh, Club Midnight CrossFit. Um, Google Maps, Facebook, um, social media, all that. All the stuff, all, all the, the stuff. digital things, yeah. right? And uh, do, you have, do you have any kind of offer for you know, like first timers? They want to come in and check out a workout, or yeah, I I kind of just do spur of the moment. Like if you want to come in and uh, take a free class, or just sit and watch, or um, I'm pretty free going. Like if you think one class is not enough, I'll throw in another one just to see if you're you're sure you want to do it. Um, sometimes people just come in and watch and then they're like, all right, well, let me just come in and do a free trial. You can also get that on the website. Um, just sign up for that. Or you can just walk in whenever our hours are. They're listed on the website as well, too. Um, also on social media. Um, but sometimes a little come in once or twice, maybe in three times, just to see if they like it. Um, I only needed once to let myself know that I loved it. So Yeah. Uh, everybody's different. So For sure. Well, thanks for the workout today. Uh, Kicks my butt. Are you sure? Yeah, no. I are listen. you sure you want to thank me for that? Well, I, you know, if you're listening, like I literally, I'm I'm in the type of condition where I could go run 13 miles right now. Yeah. And but then I come in here and I do the workout, and yeah. uh, you know, kick my butt. Yeah. For sure. That would be like me going for a 13 mile run right now. I just don't think I would be able to do it. You could. You, I know that you would be able to do it. <laughs> no, you did great. You did good. Well, thank you. You did I, more weight than I thought you did. I so. need all the encouragement I can get. Yeah. I, well. Yeah. I guess. It's I, good. Good stuff. I, I wasn't quite as weak and feeble as I thought I was going to be, yeah. but uh, so. Well, you've been doing all that. All that running. Conditioning, so that. Yes. Crazy stuff. Well, yeah. thanks again. All right. Thanks thank everybody you. for listening, and uh, tune in next time. Thank you. The superpower that every citizen has is the ability to control where they spend their time, money, and attention. By focusing these on supporting local businesses, you are having a profound impact on your friends, your family, and your local community. So if you want to change the world, you can start with buying local.